Hey, you hat? No. Change your hair? No, it's the same color. New lab coat? No, but I did have it cleaned. You look different. Welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we'll be trying some new offerings from 7-Up. New perfume? No. It's good. You don't like it? I think I do. But it sort of it tastes like a mixed drink. It does. Like it, it, is. it tastes like 7 Up and vodka for some reason. Maybe not vodka, but it definitely tastes like they've taken 7 Up and mixed something in it. Not really, you can't really taste the mint too much. It's more cucumber. It's a nice blend though. Mm -hmm. Because you kind of get a minty aftertaste, but the front taste is of cucumber, which outside of pickles, I don't think people really eat cucumbers in this continent. We're in space! It's a really uh, curious flavor. I, I don't think I would have ever thought to have uh, paired up mint with cucumber of all things. Mint I associate with gum or candy. Actually, it's really good to um, add real lemon, real cucumber, and real mint into water and make a drink that way. So this kind of reminds me like that, only it's carbonated. I, I like it. Um, like You kind of get a minty aftertaste, but I, I didn't realize uh, that I, I think cucumber is the taste that's been missing from my life. That's I good. thought it was like, I thought it was missing love or companionship, devotion, purpose. I think it's really just cucumber. I'd be a little worried about what context you say that in. It's yes. the same. I know, it, it, it also looks like Milka's. It does. Which is not a bad thing. No. Oh wow. It's peachy. See, that's good. I like it. Reminds me of, um, well, this is deep. It reminds me of peach juice. But the, the peach juice that you used to see in like donut shops and it would cycle through the, the fish tank box yeah. all year. Reminds me of that. Childhood nostalgia. It does taste peachy, but I think it's more like biting into a peach than like those fuzzy peach candies. Like it tastes like a real peach. It does. But you're right about the whole it tastes like that peach drink you used to get at like stores or whatever. Yeah, well, down on. Uh, D deck. They used to have the Royal Donut Hole, mm. uh, 
and they, they had uh, the, the peach juice there, but yeah, like the peach juice that would cycle through the machine. Yeah. Uh, Which, to be fair, probably was not real peach juice. Yeah. But it's, it's a very pleasant peachy flavor. It's not overwhelmingly intense. No, it was, it was fantastic. I loved it. Again, the color is still the same. This one, I think, is actually closest to Melka's. this to, uh, to polish wood. Yep. Oh. Like, you really didn't need to add more lemon. No, I to think in retrospect, lawn. I think in retrospect it seems a little silly to add the lemon to 7-Up. Wow, that's tart. Uh-huh. It's really tart. You know what it's like? It's like if you ate half a pack of, of sweet tarts at once and didn't bother to read them. Sadly, I have done that before. So what are your thoughts on the lemon lemon 7-Up lemon lime lemon? It was lemon. It was definitely lemon. Um, I think it was overwhelmingly lemon. Yes. I think if you had no taste, of, uh, sense of taste at all, it would still taste like lemon. Don't get me wrong, I love lemon, but that's way too much. Yeah, I th uh, like, which is weird, because the other two were sort of mild, like the peach was a mildly peach, it was a yep. pleasantly mild peach. The cucumber made me re-examine my life, but it was mildly cucumber. I don't think you can do intensely cucumber, unless it's like a pickle, but then you're getting vinegar involved. There's no vinegar in it. Um, but the lemon, <laughs> lemon, the lemon, 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 lime, lemon, uh, I think definitely lived up to its name, but it was too much lemon. Definitely too much lemon. Now, I, I think the curious thing, we've said it all the way through, is the color, because it does not remotely look like 7-Up. It looks close to an old favorite of the show, okay. uh, Milkus. Um, definitely didn't taste like Milkus, which no. it doesn't have to. No. It just happened to, to look like it. Um, of these three, what, what would you say was your favorite? Definitely the white peach. Yeah? Yep. Actually, I, I think I'm going with the cucumber. You have a thing for cucumbers. I, I, have, I wouldn't say it's a fixation. It's a newfound love. Um, a newfound love. I, when, I, when I had the cucumber one, I said it tasted like a mixed drink. But now having had the lemon one, it's like a gin and tonic that doesn't have the gin in it. Kind of. It's, which is just strange. It's like a non-alcoholic gin and tonic. I think it needs alcohol. If you were to chase that with a Bailey's and a lager, you would have quite a drink. I don't know what you would call such a thing. I do have a question though. What? what was David Bowie like in person? Well, let me tell you a story. So back in the day, <laughs> this is going to take a while. Bye. So back in the day. I should be like a French criminal. 